guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. We're going to kick you in and we're going to cover an 80 stock portfolio. Uh, it's a dividend growth portfolio. There's a lot of people trying to make sense of the stock market, um, buying into single stock portfolios with, you know, 12, 15, 18 stocks. And you, they're trying to make sense of that in these markets. Um, you're going to get humbled in markets like that. Uh, the tried and true defensive mechanism in stock market investing is true diversification. Um, this is not a representative of that. Okay. I don't care how many single stocks you want to try to buy. Um, you are not diversified against market downturns. Okay. You can do your research. You may do very well. You may outpace the market for a number of months, maybe even a number of years. Okay. Um, but certain schools of thought would challenge uh, my notion that most people fail at that um, and they will be wrong. Uh, most people fail at that. So if you really look at the statistics and the failure rates of, of those, you ask yourself, well, what's left, Ryan? You know, what, what, what is the um, order of operations to enter into stock market investing? And I, I insist that most people can win with their 401k. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna get started. They're gonna take the free match, and they're gonna fund their four hundred one k over time. That's great. There's a lot of people that are interested in leveling up and layering their program, and that might come in the form of an individual Roth IRA account. Um, I'm a big proponent of the self directed approach. Super super important to reduce the fees associated with those accounts. And an account like this can be an additional layer to those two preliminary and primary programs. Um, that of which I'm going to demonstrate for you now. It's comprised of the gems in the stock market, some of the biggest, best companies, dividend payers that have paid dividends in some cases over 60 years. Uh, it's chucker blocked full of dividend kings, aristocrats, and achievers. Um, these are the companies that you want to own. If you're going to own companies like this from a single stock perspective, do it my way. Um, I, I'm not losing sleep. This is easy money. Um, I'm still making dividends. Um, the interest rate goes up. I still make dividends, right? This is value investing 101. Pick these companies that have rewarded shareholders through thick and thin and live to fight another day. It's just that simple. I put it plain and clear out there for you guys. This is a, a, investing information and a psychology about markets that anybody can buy into. You do not need to have the experience that I have, although well-versed uh, and tried and true. Uh, my style of investing, it works. Um, I'm not one of those proponents of just buying into one philosophy, no matter how insistent uh, they are about their philosophy being the best. I'm not one of those that believes that that's even possible. There are ways of seeking out exposure to the market in a lot of different capacities. The, the, the idea is for you to identify what type of investor you want to be and align the products in the right accounts for you that makes sense for you and your family. So with that, guys, we're going to kick you in. We're going to cover the M1 Finance dividend portfolio here uh, as it's performed very, very well uh, through this volatility. It's held up quite nicely, uh, and I'll continue to monitor it, and I'll fund up as necessary. Guys, enjoy the coverage of the dividend growth portfolio. All right, guys, welcome into the dividend growth portfolio here. And it's going to become very evident very quickly that uh, I'm not panicking out of the stock market. I have not sold my entire portfolio. I am not running for the hills, nor am I diving into my prepper bunker. This is investing 101. Uh, this is a, it comes in line of, of, uh, of, of what I feel like is a layer for investors. I, I feel like there's an order of operations. What I mean by that is most people should be seeking their exposure in markets using index funds or ETFs up to their first five or 10,000 bucks, maybe even more, depending on how you enjoy that type of access to the market and you know, having your dollars fluctuate with the markets. Markets will go up. Your portfolio will go up. Uh, markets go down, your portfolios will come back with, with, the, with the markets in general. And I think that's the, where the most people need to be looking. Um, the second strategy is, is dividend growth. And dividend growth is very, very powerful. It's a, a, a very wonderful way of, of growing wealth. M1 Finance makes it extremely easy. Um, links to this very portfolio, a hybrid version of this with 50 holdings is located in the description. Um, I am affiliated with M1. If you click on the links, I can get paid a little dab of money for providing this insight to you. This insight is my portfolio. Um, I'm a product user. 
proud M1 Finance um, uh, recommender. Um, I do have a Robinhood account. I have a Webull account. I have a Charles Schwab account, and I have, you know, a, a dozen Bank of America accounts. I, I don't necessarily recommend those. Um, M1 Finance does a wonderful job of providing a platform that allows for um, successful wealth building for for all. It, I mean, really, it just it's that simple. Anybody who wants to be involved with stock market investing can do so using the power of M1 Finance. And I chronicle these as uh, tutorials for you guys to understand. Um, I, you know, I do my passive portfolio through the sector specialty ETFs. This is a separate portfolio that I uh, declare to you guys on a fairly uh, frequent basis just to check progress and see that um, it hasn't gone to zero. As a matter of fact, I've had this for just going over since 2019, so just over a couple of years. Um, not too bad. We've got total inflows of just over 18,000 and um, just shy of 10,000 in gains. This was up above 10,000, mind you. Um, and then a nice stipend dividend here just shy of $750. So nothing too shabby. Uh, I built this portfolio when I built it. Um, and I've built it up ever since. It, it, this is, once it's built out, it becomes passive in nature and that you don't have to, you don't have to mess around with this. Um, it can stand the test of time. These companies are built to be put in here and last for 20, 25 years, easy. Um, and it's, it's meant to be hands off. It is. This is meant to generate dividend income. And I've split it across all of the sectors here, but if you notice this little bit of a little bit of a hint to the downside, that's how resilient this portfolio is. And I think that's going to be attractive to a lot of people who may potentially look at this as an opportunity to gain access to markets because you've got the 401k in place. You've got the individual Roths in place. Maybe you're looking for an additional layer in your program where you want to add a taxable brokerage account in there. And we are looking at that. This is not a Roth. It's a taxable brokerage account. I'm very adamant about buying and, and holding great companies long term. This holds 80 companies. If you want to ask me if I think that that's diversified, I'm going to tell you no. It is not. Single stock holdings with 80 holdings in any one given portfolio is not diversified. You are not seeking domestic diversification, nor are you seeking international diversification with emerging markets and developed markets. It just doesn't work that way. I'm not trying to seek diversification. I just want to make sure that we're crystal clear on that front, that if you're looking to achieve or hold a portfolio like this as your primary portfolio, you would be doing it wrong. And you would be going against what I consider to be a very, very important order of operations in stock market investing. And so far as the masses need to be involved with passive investing using ETFs or index funds. And this is optional. You, 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 could, sir, uh, uh, you could have success as a passive investor with no problem without even engaging in a program like I'm declaring to you now. These are for those folks out there that want to add an additional layer to an already existing and established program out there um, with their uh, retirement account. So I really want to make sure that you guys understand how I've divvied this up here. I've got this divvied across 10 of the S&P sectors. A couple of them have rolled off just a little bit with the market volatility, no problem. We just We continue to invest in financial markets and we live to fight another day. Um, let's cruise up here with as bad as the market's been, and I didn't check this before. I, I rolled it out to you guys. We've got, we do have 80 positions. I don't know why this is showing 79. I don't know. No big deal. Um, cost basis of, 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 of inflows, 24,000 um, have come into the account. So interesting enough, you can kind of see how some of these holdings have rolled off a little bit. Amgen is down a touch. Um, some of these are holding in quite nicely with their gains that they made last year, um, which was fabulous. There's Disney down a little bit here. Okay, so as we scroll through the list, you guys are going to want to key off on um, these 80 holdings here in the portfolio, what's working and what's not. Their Intel's rolled off there. A lot of people are thinking that that's a good entry there. I agree. Um, there's Abbott Laboratories. I'm just highlighting the down because... 
as you can see here, there's an awful lot of green in this portfolio too. So, you know, wh while there's people on YouTube who have been kicked in the face because they were over levered to the stock market and they did not know how to handle the volatility that they were going to have thrown at them, they've panicked out of the market. And as you can see here, I don't know why you would justify panicking your way out of the markets with all of this green in the portfolio. Now, this could change. This could change. The whole point of this is to demonstrate that stock market investing doesn't have to be an all-in game. In other words, it doesn't have to be invest at all cost, invest in the maximum amount of risk, and then when it starts to get, uh, you know, when the risk really starts to bite you, you, you just withdraw everything. The whole idea is to find an even keel approach to the markets and invest accordingly. That's a surprise there with leg and plat down um, little dab. That's interesting enough. And some of these that have been up for a while have kind of rolled off. Um, obviously, look at the marathon up 50%. That's insane. Really doing well there. Um, and there's Charles Schwab. That's a really nice holding for me. Uh, and most of the industrials have rolled off. There's 3M and Caterpillar. These are companies that have been around forever. You know, 3M and Caterpillar, wonderful dividend stocks, and Procter right below it. These are companies that you just hold for the long term. Nice entry here on Starbucks. So as new funds flow into these accounts, they will fund these red uh, holdings. They will go into the lower, uh, the ones that are the most hurt, and the monies will flow into Look at Honeywell. What a beautiful company that is. And that's off just a little bit. And then we go into another streak of green here. Uh, I'm just kind of cherry picking the red out here and showing you guys every single of the companies that I've identified in red would be companies that you could absolutely invest in. So, you know, you look at this and say, man, Ryan's really red in, in a few of these that he's talking about. They're all investable companies, every one of them. FedEx, Walmart. These are fabulous. And, and I don't have to brag myself up on all the green stuff. I'm just going through here and highlighting these companies, Citigroup, J.P. Morgan, and on the bottom line here with Merck. So as you can see here, the whole idea here, as I've admitted, is not diversification. However, these good established companies, they hold on in, in markets uh, like this, and they're actually the companies that are the most enjoyable to own because they, they really do hold up well and they provide the investor a peace of mind that you just cannot get by over levering to growth all the time and it's a fallacy that I see all the time on YouTube it's no problem we will continue to foot stomp the message show people the right way to invest um, this doesn't apply to everybody um, you know passive investing does uh, I've already caveated that this is provided for you know those folks out there that already have those existing assets in place through passive investing. 401ks are working. Roth IRAs are working. You know, and, and they're looking for something in way of a single stock portfolio that's comprised of the gems of the stock market. These are wonderful companies and I've just demonstrated an awesome way to, to get some exposure here. Just less than 30 grand in this portfolio, nothing crazy. This is not a primary portfolio to, for me and I don't presume that it could be for you either. Um, but it does supplement a wonderful layer and a potential for a secondary account that you can add to an existing portfolio as a layer. And M1 makes it happen, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys. So we've come out of the dividend growth portfolio. There's hardly a day goes by that I don't have an alert uh, via email that I've get, I'm getting paid dividends. Sometimes it's a couple bucks. Other times it's, it's 10, 12, 15 bucks. Um, I, I, I used to uh, work for $5 an hour um, doing landscaping for my first job. You know, it's amazing to me in retrospect how I can use the power of M1 Finance uh, to provide me access to these gems of the stock market. I mean, I went over the list with you. Um, some people will come out with the top three stock picks of the month and all that. I used to do it myself. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. This is the way that you seek out your 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 uh, um, exposure to the markets, man. You can see how many are green in there. Collectively, I'm kicking kicking tail. Uh, and and when the markets get volatile, that's when you add more to it. It's just that simple. You you don't have to sit there and wonder about your 12 or 15 stock portfolio and wonder if you're doing it right. I'm here to tell you you're not. You're doing it wrong. 
You're not diversified in any capacity. You must be diversified before you engage in even a program like mine. And even with me, I'm the only one on YouTube saying it. 80 stocks is not diversified. Okay. I will foot stomp that to the ground. All right. While markets start to turn and, and they start to really perform well, you're going to appreciate that 8% goal that we're shooting for. Uh, but if you're trying to stock pick the stock market, I don't care how much due diligence you do. I don't care how good you think you are. I don't, how, I don't care how aggressive and how loud you think you are. You will fail at stock picking over the long term. Okay. The unfortunate part about it is people are provided a lot of validation in the short term to think that they've got this thing licked. The quickest realization that you can make in the investing game is understand that you don't own it. You know, don't own it all. The idea is to pick that style that's going to work for you guys and stick with that plan over the long term. Guys, if you appreciate the message, you want to make sure and subscribe to the Independent Investor Channel. We're putting it down the way it's supposed to be put down for all investors. This is not for just those faint of heart. This is not just for those people who are interested in cryptocurrency. More millionaires were made last year and going into 2022 using the tried and true boring old method of 401k and Roth IRA investing. It's a fact. Look it up. Everything else is less credible. It's just that simple. Guys, leave your comments at the bottom. Share the message with anybody out there that you know needs an inspiring message with regard to the prospects of investing in the stock market. I take a multi-tier multi-layer approach to my investing and I share it openly with you guys free of charge over YouTube no strings attached I'm affiliated with everything uh, in my description if you click on any of it use it don't use it <laughs> go to m1 uh, uh, independent of, of my message it's no problem at all but I do this to help the masses out there I love m1 finance it's a great platform it's helping me wealth build in a lot of different capacities and I know it can do the same for you guys Thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.